this is one of my favorite trucks of all times. I bought it from uh, a good dealer. I've been buying a lot of trucks from them. They're, uh, they hooked me up with this one. It's a 2016 Cascadia a glider kit. So it's a 12.7 series 60 truck. Uh, one of my favorite trucks. Uh, newer trucks, they're hard to find, but I got a couple of them. Very, very nice truck. Welcome guys, my name is Sebastian. Uh, I wanted to shoot this video about um, heavy duty emission standards and the timeline and how we got to where we are right now and why is it important for you to know. Um, it's important because if you're thinking about buying a truck or if you already have a truck, it's good to understand um, because it will help you uh, predict your expenses and it will help you make a better decision if you're purchasing a truck, whether you want the certain emission standards or not, uh, and how the truck that you're thinking about buying is gonna perform and is it gonna be reliable for you in the future? And are the things that need to be fixed on the truck already done? Uh, because oftentimes the emission standards cost a little bit more uh, and just have to be maintained on a regular basis. So here we go. The number one that you should start paying attention to anything before 03 is, uh, has nothing, you don't have anything to worry about. 04 is when uh, the EGR kicks in. And that's exhaust gas recirculation. And what that does, it just takes um, exhaust gases and puts it back into your cylinder. I'll explain all separate um, emission standards in a separate, separate video and go into detail about it. I'll, I, I just want to give you the timeline here um, and the cost of potentially uh, fixing or how much it's going to cost you to fix. Um, so EGR, if you're looking at about a labor, it's about three hours. So depending on the uh, shop that you're working with, uh, uh, parts you can find anywhere between uh, $500 plus, um, plus labor. So you're looking maybe around $1,000 depending on which engine, which, uh, which manufacturer. Um, 2008 was when we introduced the uh, DPF, which is uh, diesel, diesel particulate filter. And this is a filter where uh, that um, captures the soot from, from your exhaust gases and uh, it's a solid state filter so it keeps it in there uh, and that maintenance is a little bit more than EGR because uh, significantly more because now we have to regularly every 150 to 200 250,000 miles send it for um, regeneration which is uh, uh, baking uh, and depending on how badly it's clogged you look at stage one or stage two uh, I will also get into detail about uh, DPF in a separate short video, but that's where the cost is uh, significantly climbing. And 2008 was when, uh, model year is when where you start seeing uh, DPF. So um, you will have to look at has the, the filter been changed for the truck that I'm uh, looking at if it if it's. Um, model year 2008 or newer. Um, has there been any maintenance done for that truck? Uh, was it uh, baked? Was it uh, swapped for a new one? Uh, you wanna know that information because that might cost you additional, you're gonna be between, uh, I would say $4,000 plus on, on the cost if none of those things were done. So if you're gonna look at, um, sending it for cleaning it will cost you a little less you can do it for a thousand dollars plus uh seals and clamps uh that will be additional cost and labor obviously you put it uh, in it take it in and out and if you're looking at a new one then you're gonna have to look at a cost uh approximately four thousand dollars upwards from that uh which is which is a significant um increase in expenses and if you're buying a model in 09 or 10 uh additional four or five thousand dollars is 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 a significant uh amount uh in 2010 um we got what's called scr 
and that selective catalytic reduction and that's using an agent that we commonly known as DEF diesel exhaust fluid and then you see them all over truck stops and what that does it, it it's it also treats the uh, exhaust gases with an injection of the DEF and it takes out uh, the rest of the um, uh, nit nit nitrogen oxides, turns it into uh, nitrogen, water, and carbon dioxide. So things that already exist in, in the air. Um, and this one is the things to look out for and the cost, I would say the injector could go bad. There are sensors that um, keep monitoring the, the, the state of the, the process and as, as well as DPF and EGR, you all, they all have sensors. So the cost of the SCR to maintain it is not as high as DPF, but it could throw you uh, additional costs and the sensors would throw the engine uh, which would uh, later put it into D-rate, which would uh, prevent you from driving. And the same thing with DPF. Both of those systems would D-rate your engine, uh, pr uh, uh, preventing you from uh, driving more. So that's something to remember uh, because if you, if you find a problem with your truck and, and you have all those three systems, so a model year 2010 and newer, you're adding layers of complexity that will now um, not only be expensive but also you're gonna have a lot more labor hours to try to find and fix the problem because it, it might be hiding in any of those three uh, systems and you're adding on sensors you're adding on um, additional components to the engine that might go wrong and will cost you additional money so something to remember and uh, definitely um, we'll dig in more into each emission standard so you understand a little better. Um, but as of right now, what you need to remember is all those three systems, EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, diesel particulate filter, and SCR, uh, selective calorie reduction, is the three things that you have on the newer engines uh, post-2010. Um, and those are the, the systems that will either make the truck um, uh, reliable or not. Has it been fixed in the, in the past? And that's something that you could look into and make sure that the truck that you like not only looks good, but also has the emission standards that you understand and know how to work with and don't get yourself into a lot of trouble because that will um, make you uh, make your operation a lot harder so um, thank you for watching uh, subscribe to our channel i'll look out for more content and drive safe